right y'all so i started decluttering my makeup brushes and then i also added like some of the makeup brushes that i got in one of my little gift baskets by kahari these are like my odds and end ones right here that i didn't want to get rid of and then i have this silver elf collection of brushes too but I need to wash them all. So we're gonna wash them, but I got them separated in this container. I'm going through my whole vanity and going through all of my makeup, throwing away stuff that's old that needs to be decluttered and kind of putting all of the makeup in this bag. And then I'm gonna put all the like the skincare primers and stuff like that in here. And then at the end, I'll show you guys what we got. But so far, this is all the stuff we decluttered. It's like the first like high end like brand that I tried. First of all, Mac. Mac used to be that girl, and this is my first ever concealer that I got. But y'all, y'all can see I need to get rid of this. This is years old. Like I don't even know. Honestly, I don't even know what the expiration date be of makeup, but I know it's this gotta be expired. So we're gonna get rid of that. So I'm just going through everything. This is like a, a mini Anastasia Give Me Brow. I still have stuff in there, so we're going to keep it. So I'm just putting everything in this little pouch. Let me see. This Wet n' Wild concealer. I really liked this concealer. I need to get another one. And Dark Cocoa, this was their, I think it's the Photo Focus line. I'm going to get rid of it because, yeah, it is Photo Focus. But this was a good concealer. I remember that. And it's super affordable. Y'all know my favorite powder combination right here. But this Sephora powder is that girl. I got some other powders. This one by YC Collections. And this one by Laura Mercier, the little translucent mini. But I want to wash those off. Along with this little NARS Radiant Concealer mini. Because I need to find the top to this. I don't know what it is. But I want to wash off because it's got powder all over. I got this little mini um, Tarte concealer also. We're going to keep this. I just got her. Oh, she's broke. So we're not going to keep her. We're going to get rid of her. Trash. Just going through everything, y'all. We I tried this Lumi whole body deodorant. This smells disgusting. It smells like butt. <coughs> Oh my God, it smells so bad, y'all. Literally, I'm not even exaggerating. It smells so bad. So we're getting rid of that. What's this? Laura Mercier. Oh, this is like a pretty little, is this a shadow stick? Caviar stick eye co color. This is actually really pretty, so I'm gonna keep this. Our little bag is filling up here quickly. And then I got, what is this? This clear brow gel by Anastasia Beverly Hills. There's still some in there, so we're gonna keep this. And then here, I got plenty of eyeliners, y'all. Like, so many eyeliners. This one is, this is a dark brown lip liner, actually. So we're gonna keep her. And then I got this NYX Epic Liner. I've never tried it. I got this one by Tarte as well, the Sex Kitten Eyeliner, um, Hangover Too Faced Primer. Let me turn this light down some. There we go. Too Faced Primer. Um, this Maybelline Camouflage Master Concealer. I never use this. Let me see. I feel like this is kind of old too, but I've never used this. Let me just see something now. Hey guys, welcome back to another week in the life. My name is Deanna. If you guys are new, welcome. And if you're not new, thanks for coming back to another video, y'all. Sorry, I just did that sharp turn. So, right now we are currently, it's Monday today. So we're actually starting the vlog on a Monday. And I'm heading to work. I have to be to work at 3 o'clock, my normal schedule. This is my last week of training. I have four days left. I'm actually, my official last day of training is Thursday. And then Friday, I start my normal schedule, and I would theoretically be on the floor by myself, which is crazy. So I got 10 days of training. Um, so basically this week, I feel like it's going to be me kind of focusing more on like the med pass and um, continuing to get used to like the AccuCheck's and diabetic stuff, referral processing, like all of the little admin stuff. 
but also I feel like they're gonna have me focus on like learning the meds too because as the nurse if I don't have TMAs or CNAs to pass like two I will have to help probably with like one of the med passes so I need to be familiar with um, meds and I need to actually you know pass the meds I've been doing lots of physical health checks I gave an injection I've been kind of helping and assessing and doing things as necessary and as it comes up so that's what I'm anticipating today is gonna be y'all can see I decided to randomly give myself like a silk press I just I washed my hair yesterday and I deep conditioned it um, and ended up falling asleep before doing anything to it but I was gonna moisturize it and twist it up and then this morning I was like it was all clean and stuff and I was like I should blow dry it throw some curls in it I did that and then I even put like my little pin curls in got it up got ready for work was like nope I'm gonna wear my wig didn't go right because of course I have this slickness underneath my um, wig cap so it was just not a good it wasn't an ideal wig situation so then I had to take it off and try to make it look decent hey y'all it is later on it is currently 12 27 and I guess I'm getting into this habit of vlogging late at night because I get off late now so we got off work at 11 30 i actually stayed till 11 30 because typically i think i told you guys but for each shift we come everyone is scheduled 30 minutes after um the next like that 30 minute overlap between each shift for a report but a lot of the times unless you're the charge nurse report does not take 30 minutes um on your floor for the most part as long as nothing happened or you we're done charting and all that stuff you can go but that 30 minutes is built in there in case it's needed some days it's needed some days it's not so today i ended up just staying till 11 30 just because the nurse that i'm with she that's training me i'm taking over her position she's going to be the evening manager so she's already kind of acting as that evening manager but then she's also has this position um or had this position because now it's my position and yeah it's a lot like it's definitely a lot but i will say every day it gets better today was my first day doing the med pass and all i've done is basically shadowed and um it is paper mars here for the medication and for like diabetic stuff and stuff like that so that's a little bit different but i'm used to i've done that before actually and um not with the meds but i have done paper charting as far as cares and stuff go and so i've gotten used to it. i've been getting used to the process i've been getting used to report and just the different duties and responsibilities that i'm having i'm learning the residents i'm learning the co-workers as i'm working more days and things like that so overall i think today was a really good shift i basically was kind of doing a lot um on my own up until like uh, dinner I did my normal thing which is come in create my report which is just literally my list my checklist and cheat sheet of what I'm gonna do so I'd come in and do that and then I do any physical health checks like basically follow-up so we had like for example today I had a fall so when I came in I had a fall with a um, head strike so I had to do a neuro assessment and a full um like fall follow-up i had to go in chart that document that so that part is what i'm just working on getting like better at because obviously with charting we really didn't practice charting y'all i mean they had us do care plans and they had us do things create nursing problems and interventions and all of that but in reality like that's not how you're going to chart it but i mean nursing interventions and all that stuff is you know what you're doing and stuff like that you do have goals and stuff like that so but we should have had a whole class regarding charting but luckily like i said my manager is really awesome so i've been charting and then just telling her i've been charting and i've just been telling her like be honest you know she and she asked me like do you want me to give you like an honest critique and i'm like yes because you know i don't want to be making no mistakes like i'm still obviously like a new nurse so i want as much guidance as i can get especially while you're right here by my side the good thing is she will still be like i said the evening manager nurse she'll just be over all the floors so she may not be right you know next to me like she is right now or training me you know what i'm saying or 
backing me up the way that she is because she's gonna have other responsibilities but yeah it was a really good day um and then so i did the mad pass on my own with the shadow and it was pretty good of course i was a little bit slow because again it's paper mars and i'm still getting to know people but the more i do it the more i'll get with it for mad passes so we do our cnas are tma certified so um it's so weird saying like our cnas but um the cnas at my job are all tma certified which means that they do the mad passing and so the only time that I would be doing mad pass would be if we're short. Um, and obviously that's a possibility. So she did warn me of that, you know. And so, yeah, I've, it's important for me to pass the meds a couple of times while I'm in training. Um, as you all can see, I didn't really sweat it out. I guess my hair just kind of, I did have it in a clip for most of the night <clears throat> after a while I left it out. But then... I got to moving more and so I just kind of put it up in a clip but yeah so I did the med pass that went really well um yeah I mean it was a cool day currently 2 31 and we are heading to work right now um it is officially my first day officially off training and on my own today so i'll be running my floor today so i'm super excited my manager and so basically i might have mentioned this in the vlog before but just in case y'all didn't watch or you guys are new the person who's training me got a promotion to be the in, the evening night manager so instead of being the full-time manager on the floor that I'm on now I'm taking her spot as that full-time um, nurse on the fifth floor and she's gonna go into the evening nurse manager position which means she's gonna be over all the floors and just more in a managerial role so she's been training me and honestly y'all she is the bomb she really I mean obviously she cares a lot about this floor so she wants to make sure that I know all the information I need to know that I'm feel comfortable you know and obviously she's gonna be the evening manager too and she's always the charge nurse and stuff like that so it's just I got a really supportive team the only thing with that is so she's gonna be there with me tonight for my first shift so I'm I feel like it should go fine and then obviously when she's gone there's two other nurses that are whoever's charge is always there to help me and you know it's gonna be fine like you know I'm so hard on myself and there's just so much that you're just like but it's fine there's so much support in the building so I just gotta, you know, keep calm and it'll be just, just fine. So with that being said, um, today's my first night on, on my own. She'll be there with me tonight. And then tomorrow she goes on a two week vacation. So I will be then on my own as far as not having her just because I've been with her the most. I have really good rapport with her, you know, so far it's been three weeks at this point of the job, which is super crazy not yeah about three well about three weeks about two and a half weeks um next week will be like my third full week but yeah you guys are my first weekend shift which we'll see how that goes because typically that's when any facility is more short staffed and right now they're hiring a lot of evening staff so we're getting fully staffed but you know it's definitely a lot so anyways you guys let me pay attention to the road because it's raining and people act like they cannot drive in rain for whatever reason um like we don't live in minnesota and we drive in snow ice uh all of that i'm gonna ride this express lane though because we got till three o'clock before it turns into the other lane and that's when i need to be at work so hopefully we'll get there and make some good timing because we're really not that far but again, people act like they can't drive. So, wish me luck, y'all. It's going to be a great day. I'm going to make sure I say a prayer. And it's going to be just fine. So, I will talk to you guys either on my lunch break or after work. It depends on how the shift does go. But it'll be fine. So, I'll see you guys. So it's currently like 
like 10 o'clock I think it's like a little bit after 10 o'clock and I am actually editing this vlog that's going up that you guys are watching right now and I need to um show you guys a couple things that I got and just basically wrap it up so that's what we came here to do I do have on some eye patches these good molecules caffeine energizing hydrogel eye patches I absolutely love these they were very affordable I think um and they also come with this cute little like tool to help you scoop it out and keep it more sanitary and it comes and I just think that they really work really really nicely so yeah I got those on right now we're just kind of prepping getting ourselves ready for the work week y'all I do work this evening so I wanted to show you guys just a couple things that we got over the weekend and kind of let you guys know and recap how my first shift on my own went and how the weekend was so first and foremost Friday which I believe is the last time that I like vlogged and talked to you guys I was on my way to my shift my first shift by myself and honestly overall it was pretty good it was a little it was very busy I was definitely working from the time I got there to the time I got off and it's just a lot to just get used to and get like you're just literally in charge like you know you have CNAs you have teammates that are working under you you have residents that you're coming that need to see the nurse you're making decisions you're doing a lot of different things so a lot of different things like came up um that didn't necessarily happen like while i was in training so like for example i had a patient i had a resident that came back from getting four teeth removed so that was came with a lot of nursing care you know as a cna or as a tma you don't you take care of those people but you don't realize the stuff that happens behind the scenes so for example this person came back with like controlled narcotics that i needed to log in make sure the prescription was filled correctly um you know log it in so that the tma can even give it make sure i'm doing the checks making sure the bleeding is controlled changing the gauze out so that just added stuff on top of my already daily to um, tasks that I'm responsible for as a nurse in this facility but honestly it's going well like I didn't crash and burn nobody fell or anything like that it was busy I had resources and it was fine so I'm excited to see how this week goes I feel like now that the first shift is like under my belt I feel like it can only get better from here and I just have to continue to just have faith in myself and to know that I have support there like things are going to be all right and not to freak out to slow down create a plan do the best i can as far as sticking to that plan and keep it moving you know what i mean so it went pretty well for the most part so now this is our next week so this is our first like full full week so i'm super excited to see like how that goes i just broke a nail i need to do a new set of press on so i'm probably going to go ahead and do that before we go in and i also finally got some little lashes y'all i've been going without lashes uh, I need my eyebrows done. We're going to finally get some maintenance done, but it'll be in the next vlog. It will not be in this vlog. So I just wanted to come on here and kind of end it and um, let y'all know what was going on. And then over the weekend, um, Saturday, I went to the state capitol with my friend. Um, there was an event that she was telling me about for Juneteenth. It was a nice little festival. So I showed you guys some clips of that. We had fun. And when I was there, I did purchase a cute little cup. Um, they had like a bunch of different booths and just stuff like that but they had a section that was just purely for like um the youth and like the youth owned businesses and so this little girl was here with her mom and so we decided me and my friend we were like we're gonna buy something from her booth she wasn't at the booth at the time she was out doing something but we decided to support her y'all know i love a good iced coffee cup and it just says fearfully and wonderfully made psalm 139 14 and it was super reasonable it was like five bucks so i was like let me just show a little bit of support so i picked that up later on that day i went on a little bit of a date so i went to dinner at olive garden i haven't had olive garden in so long so it was literally so freaking good um so i'll have to put the clips in and then we also went to go see bad boys y'all for life 10 out of 10 literally definitely recommend it it's been that was one of the best movies i've seen in the theaters in a really long time we laughed the whole time like the whole theater it was just a good vibe i really enjoyed it like much more than i thought i was even going to enjoy it. so if you haven't seen bad boys you definitely need to go and see it um we had a little bit of time to kill in between so we stopped at five below and we stopped at alta i finally st spent my little 25 dollars gift card i got for graduation so quickly just want to show you what i got I restocked on the e.l.f. lip oil. This is one of my favorite lip oils. And I just got this one in um, crystal clear. I like the pink quartz as well. But I still have some in that one. So I just picked this one up. And then I got another refill of these Kiss and Press Press-On Lashes. I love these for just 
quick little don't have to do much so i'm going to toss these on for the week i do have my actual lash appointment on saturday which i cannot wait i definitely miss my lash extensions y'all um and i haven't decided what i'm getting done to my hair yet i'm thinking and leaning towards braids um but we'll just have to see but yeah these are going to get me out over to the lashes i mean for the week until i get to my appointment and i'm probably going to do those right now once i end this vlog and then i also spent um like i said i stopped at five below and i got this very seductive champagne perfume and it's their impression of the victoria's secrets bombshell nights y'all and it smells so good so i got that oh my god it literally smells so good and then lastly i spent my amazon gift card finally and i picked up two things so the first thing i got my friend recommended is this the set boundaries workshop by netta glover to she's a licensed social worker and i want to say she's a therapist as well yeah she's a licensed therapist and renowned relationship expert and it's the set boundaries workbook practice and exercise for understanding your needs and setting healthy limits i feel like you guys should know that i'm kind of like on a healthy like healing journey and i'm on just a spiritual journey really just getting my relationship with god and my life back on track overall in so many ways and i feel like a part of healing is setting boundaries and so i just felt like she had been posting some um excerpts from this and i felt like this would be been really beneficial for me so i ended up picking it up like i said i had the 25 dollars amazon gift card and i think i spent about 12 dollars on it um it is on kindle if you want it but i would like the physical you can write down right in this so i will let you guys know how i feel about this but i love a good workbook look a good journal a good just mind type of like motivational type of journal so i'm obsessed and so i haven't got into it yet but i will definitely let you guys know what i think about it and then i just picked up another refill of these african net sponges on amazon y'all if you are not using these you are not i don't know what you're doing these work so good they work so much better than the little dollar tree ones like the actual legitimate ones um they exfoliate your skin so well you feel so clean after so i got like a three pack for like six bucks so the other one's already in the shower i've been using it but i wanted to mention these because again if you guys are not using african net sponges it'll change your skincare like life seriously so that is everything you guys also really quickly before i let y'all go my diploma finally came in the mail and my license actually came in the mail which which is crazy i didn't think i was going to get like a physical license oh this isn't even it this is my freaking my i also got my little um certificate for the honor society and my little you know like official thing so i have a lot of stuff i actually need to kind of display and I got a little pin as well from them. Oops. It just says Phi Theta Kappa on there. And then I also got like an actual physical license from the Board of Nursing, which I didn't think I was going to get. I just thought they look you up on the registry and, you know, that was your thing or your diploma was your license, I guess. But I guess it's not because you can get the diploma and not pass NCLEX, so then you wouldn't be licensed. But yeah i don't know where it is right now i'm not gonna go find it for y'all but it's super cute it's like a little paper paper license and it's just something from the board that just kind of states that you got it but i did get my like official diploma to go in my little diploma holder and it really did take the six to eight weeks because this just came like literally on friday and what is it it's about to be what is it the 22nd of june so yeah it's been like eight weeks but she's so cute like don't play with me in my diploma okay so yeah i'm super excited about that just made it all just official like i really got all my stuff y'all like i'm really a nurse like i could just cry like when i was coming back from my ship i'm just like this is just so crazy to me like this is really my life but it is so anyways you guys the next time y'all see me we'll be maintenance up these eyebrows will be done hair might be done lashes will be done nails will be done we'll just be getting ourselves together and starting to live our best life okay but anyways you guys i hope you enjoyed this vlog i love you guys thanks for watching thanks for sticking on this journey with me and i'm just excited to just do more things enjoy more life 
Um, these last couple weeks are just been adjusting to the new job. So thank you guys for hanging in there with me, trying to get myself together. But so much exciting stuff is going to be happening in these next couple weeks for me and my life. And I'm very excited to share those things with you guys. And I just thank you guys that are rocking with me and really sending me genuine support and love. I truly do just appreciate you guys so much. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys in next week's video. Bye.